love we have for one another. Weddings do great things. They can spark up new love. They can remind us of our marriage and warm our hearts. They can inspire the healing of a rocky marriage. That's my baby. Start a new one. I won't ask everybody to raise their hand. So. so, you want to get into this? Let's do this. I'm trying to keep them from crying and solve it up. They've got vowels to read, and that's going to be good. <laughs> I got my glasses. All right. Now it's time to go into Buddy Holly mode. This is uh, more Mike. He wrote that on there. So today, Doug and Caroline will declare their intention to join their lives together, to intertwine in front of you and God. A partnership of marriage for all of the seasons of their lives. This is the beginning of a journey they now undertake for their mutual growth in character, in mind, and in spirit. Sometimes we forget marriage doesn't stay still. No, it doesn't. Tomorrow will be different from today, and so marriages too change from day to day, year to year. Marriage is an ever-changing, ever-growing relationship, moving the couple forward towards greater contentment with themselves, with each other, and those whose lives they touch. I like it. A good marriage makes room for the participants to spread their wings and soar towards their own re realization. Oh, I, I crossed this out when I was that. <laughs> it is a tend it is as tender as the green shoots that in springtime push their heads through the earth and take nourishment from Together they will harvest the mature fruit of their union in the warm days of autumn and enjoy the contentment of their labors. And with the onset of the quiet days of winter, when words are no longer necessary, the love they have cultivated and harvested with such care will sustain them always. More mic. <laughs> Someone once said to me, Man plans and God laughs. Or I plan and God decides the outcome. We make plans and they don't necessarily turn out the way we envision it. But somehow life happens and shapes and molds us to be better than we are. Marriage is the single most important relationship that challenges us to always be better. It molds and strengthens our character. Although this is their day, it is also a tribute to all everybody here for knowing you and interacting with you has helped to make our bride and groom who they needed to be to find each other they would like to thank all of you for that all of you are threads of which have woven the tapestry of their lives each one of you is an important piece in their story it is the fabric that they wrap around themselves and take comfort in when the world seems cold and on days like today, when everything is right in their world, that tapestry is proudly spread out and displayed for everyone to see with all the glorious colors. You all hold a place in their hearts reserved for those that they have chosen to call family and friends, and they are deeply grateful for each and every one of you here today. That's nice. So, I was gonna read it like this, but I, I just can't see. <laughs> I just can't. So, before we join these two, we're going to actually have the sand ceremony and have the kids join in before you guys join hands. And so, parents, today you are making a lifelong commitment to share the rest of your lives with each other and honor your children as well. Your family relationship is symbolized through the pouring of these individual containers of sand, one representing each one of you, all that you are and all that you are. There are children who will share in this marriage. The gathering of this new family will have a deep influence on them. We realize that in order for the home to be a happy one, it is essential that there be love and understanding between the children and the adults getting married. As you each hold your sand, everyone picks up their container of sand. The separate containers of sand represent your lives to this moment, individual and unique. As you combine your sand together, your lives also join together as one. Well.
Alice has a little note that Alice says about the sand ceremony. Based on her emotional response, pouring the sand symbolizes the <laughs> unity of her family and to have parents come together and stay together for her. I'm quoting Alice. <laughs> Jalen, I'm sorry. What this pouring sand means to her, it's the blending of our two very unique and beautiful families. It's been an honor to watch my dad grow in the, into the man he is today. And thank you to Caroline for making that transformation easier for him. And Savannah, here's a good one. If I am going to have to be truthful, I never thought my dad would marry another person. But here we are. <laughs> and it's okay. Because Caroline is truly an amazing, or truly amazing. I love her. I couldn't ask for a better person to marry. <laughs> This is the best sand pouring. Oh, it's okay, okay, I'm back. <laughs> this is the best family I could ever ask for. So the sand pouring to me means security, unity, love, and support. Also, the first time I met Caroline, I said she was out of my dad's league. <laughs> and I still stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> and JD, what do you think this is all about? You want to say something? <laughs> JD says this brings love and respect. <laughs> you can pour, did you pour his hand? Emmy's turn. Did you send over what she said? What did you say, Emily? <laughs> Emily would like some wings. And, oh, there we go. Emily, I'm bringing special wings so we can fly together. We can fly like butterflies. from you, one hug washes away the weight of the world. From the first moment you took my hand in yours the night at the beach, I knew I was in love with you and that I wanted to marry you one day. You have filled my life with joy and have given me a sense of peace that I have never known. You are my best friend, my biggest supporter. You are the love of my life and you make me feel happier and more loved than I ever imagined possible. Although today marks the start of the rest of our lives, I know it will not be enough time with you. I will not take our time together for granted, because words cannot do it. I promise to show you the rest of my life how much I love you. I promise to love and cherish you, to honor and care for you, to protect and respect you. I promise to love all your quirks, even if you encourage them. To be supportive in all your wild ideas and adventures. I promise to... <laughs> I promise to text you good morning, my love, every day in an hour that won't wake you up. <laughs> I feel you probably should be, but very hard. <laughs> I promise to help get you to places on time, and sometimes even early. And in doing so, I promise not to take your complaints about being early in person. <laughs> I promise to always be present, honest, and walk, walk you through every 
blessing in every storm for the rest of our lives. I promise to love you with everything I have in this life and the next, whatever that may be. I'm yours forever. This is my song. <laughs> I promise to sound off the smoke alarms when I'm cooking. <laughs> and I promise to create a life for us of unexpected and strange adventures. I promise that I love you. I pledge to listen to your advice and occasionally take it. <laughs> Although I will be imperfect, I will try to be sensitive to your quirks without too much sass. I pledge to always admire your huge, strong, kind, and determined heart. I I vow to hold space for you as you walk through your shadows, just as you do for me. I vow to watch in awe as you kick ass in the rest of life. I vow to be your unwanting cheer slot in a day that feels too much. I vow that I will love you. I promise to value our marriage as a precious as a precious gift. I look forward to creating and building an enriched future with you, full of meaning, under the care of and guidance of God. I pledge to you a life of giving and growing. I will be there to make you laugh, and I can promise to bring color and optimism to the mundane parts of life. <laughs> I vow to love, support, encourage, and uplift all of your children as I officially become your partner in their lives. May we continue to shape our home of healing and give our children a healthy, functional family system that is compassionate to all, full of respect, and honor for others and each other. May our home be forever filled with joyous laughter, peace, and love. I promise to be, today to be your co-navigator, best friend, and wife. Honor, love, and cherish you through all of life's challenges and adventures. I swear to always and forever be your confidant and your mind. I vow to grow old with you while keeping the kid in you alive. I take you today to be my co-captain, Matthew Foster. Mm -hmm. Co-captain. <laughs> there is an old Buddhist saying that goes, when you meet your soulmate, remember that the act to bring you together is 500 years in the making, so always appreciate and be kind to each other. With this, may our journeys be ever intertwined, our love keeping us together in this life and the next. Well, I guess we need to make this official. All right, we have rings. Thank you. 